In Legends, Part 2, The East, Part 2A, The Atman, Part 2A1, Similar Systems. Just as in Hakabala's Sefer Yetzirah, the origin of mankind's knowledge and understanding of the meta-pattern mold for human capacity for oneness with divinity are the ten fingers signifying the ten Sephirot emanations on the tree of knowledge and thus representing also the manner of clasping the hands together in supplicant prayer during her Kabbalistic meditation. So too in the far eastern orient do we find this ornate alabaster replica of a human hand showing all the eldest Vedic equivalents to modern aspects of palmistry. The fingertips are shown as all one type of shell, the first knuckle as five types of gems, the second finger bones as eyes, the second knuckles as five types of flower, the usual mounds of the planets showing the planets in color and vivid detail, and lines shown as Vedic gods Ganesh, Hanuman, and Shiva, symbolizing the trinity of past, present, and future, are the same as in modern Western palmistry. Likewise, just as in the Western mystery tradition, a Kabbalah is expressed as four worlds, and these four worlds are seen as equivalent to the four elemental forces of nature, on earth below and in the cosmos above, as seen here arranged, blue for water, red for fire, green for earth, and yellow for air, clockwise from the upper right, surrounding spirit, the fifth element shown as a local wheel from Buddhism, in a pentagram formation. So too in the Vedic Eastern Oriental version of Kabbalah are there four elements also or tattvas called from left to right Tejas, red triangle of fire, Patavati, yellow square of earth, Vajas, gray crescent of air, Apas, blue circle of water, and Acacia, purple ovum. Each of these, as shown, contain the others to form the 25 tattvas elements of the material world. Likewise, just as in the Western mystery tradition, there is the element throughout the myths regarding the number seven from the seven archangel sigils over each day of the week and seven cameo talismans showing these sigils places in the zodiac and just as there are seven Gematria number squares, seven Olympic gods of the visible planets, seven powers of the Gnostic archons, seven Christian churches founded by apostles, seven lower sephirots subtended to the supernal trinity, seven Greek vowels and correspondent Hebrew letters, etc., So, too, in the Far Eastern Orient, there is a system of seven attributes that is well known and far more ancient than even the Babylonian zodiac. The seven chakras, or five nerve centers in the spine and two in the brain, form the evolutionary ladder up which our nervous system grows over time. These nerve centers, when considered in one's own human body, are held as infinitely more important in the East for understanding the nature of one's own soul and for achieving the full capacity for one's potential development than all the correspondences in 777 could ever be. Furthermore, just as in the Western mystery tradition, we have the typical wheel of twelve signs of the Babylonian zodiac, which can be read in the usual direction, from Aries around to Pisces, for the twelve annual months per one solar year, or read in the opposite direction, from Pisces around to Aries, to measure the two thousand year each twelve solar aeons in a calendar based on polar precession. So too do we find in the far eastern oriental Chinese calendar an identical system of twelve zoo animals, 
However, rather than measuring months or aeons, each measures a single year in a never-ending 12-year cycle. For example, I was born in 1977, in the year of the snake. The year of the snake repeated in 1989, and in 2001, and will repeat again in 2013. Such is the Chinese equivalent to the Babylonian zodiac showing constellations in the night sky. Lastly, even the concept of assigning the twelve signs of the Babylonian zodiac to aspects of the anatomy of an upright human being originated in the Far Eastern Orient. This middle Dark Ages graphic depicts an open torso dissection of a human cadaver, labeling each part with a sign from the Babylonian zodiac. This model is very much like the standard Chinese diagram of similar applications from the schools on the twelve Qi meridians for a good reason. They describe the same system. The concept of the twelve Qi meridian system, developed by Chinese Taoists, is based entirely on actual human physiological anatomy, structured such that each of the twelve meridians, nerve fibers extended from the spine into the face and torso organs and the extremities of the limbs, branches forth from one of the seven chakras, nerve centers along the spine and inside the brain. Similar meridians have been found occurring in other mammals, such as horses and dogs. However, beyond this, more research does not remain forthcoming with the current Communist Party ban on the study of Qui Gong, Tai Chi, in China.